Hello friends! You may notice that on my channel there are some reviews of the devices which are not so popular, but at the same time they are very special devices and extremely necessary for special tasks. This review is also dedicated to one of such devices. This is equivalent series resistance meter ESR01. Despite its relatively not wide range in resistance measurement, the device can measure resistance, capacitance and inductance. Regarding the resistance range, 0.01 ohms to 20 ohms. The capacitance range is 0.1 to 1000 microfarads. As to the inductance range, the maximum value is 1200 microhenry. The weight of the device is 56 grams. This is the length. And this is the width. As to the power supply, we can use 9V battery, but also this device can be fed via micro USB. In case of 9V battery, here is the power on button. And here we have voltage indication. And here we have 5 volts. The device has two modes. The first mode is designed for capacitance and resistance, and the second mode for inductance. As to these two signs, Capacitance should be not less than 100 nanofarads and resistance should be not more than 20 ohms. Or simply they should have changed these two signs. Warning! Discharge all capacitors. And it's really necessary in order to protect this device from damage. Now let's check the accuracy of this device. Unfortunately, I have absolutely no inductance meter. As to capacitance, we will check it also with the help of the following device. Let's start with inductance. Here we have no data and we will only measure the inductance of these three items. Two hundred twenty microhenry. Four point eight microhenry. Twenty four microhenry. Now let's check the capacitors. According to the inscription, 334 nanofarads. Three hundred twenty nine. Three hundred twenty seven. Very good result. 524. 500. Four nine seven. Two hundred and twenty nanofarads. Hundred forty five, hundred forty six, hundred fifty nine, hundred fifty eight, but not two hundred and twenty. So both devices show less value.
according to the inscription, 104 nanofarads. 102 103 47 microfarads let's discharge minus and plus 47 46 let's discharge again Well, this device is too slow. 51. 220 microfarads. Let's discharge. 226. Also, let's discharge. Two hundred forty three. Anyway, this device is more precise. Hundred microfarads. This is minus. Ninety four. Hundred five microfarads. Now let's check the resistance range. We will check it also with the help of the very precise resistance meter. Here we have two resistors in parallel, twenty four ohms. So we have eleven point eight ohms, twelve point thirteen. So this is one ohm resistor. Zero point ninety seven. One point zero two. Two point four ohms. Two point five. No, two point four. 0 0.51 0 0.57 0 0.51 so this device is really more precise and the last resistor 0 0.18 ohms Zero point fifteen. 0 0.16 181 and 1 milliohms so anyway 0 0.18 let's check the power consumption of this device and also the frequency with the help of which the device measures resistance capacitance and inductance the power consumption is extremely low approximately less than 10 milliamps as to the frequency, the device has dual mode, 3 and 72 kHz. Let's check it. So we really have here 72 and also 3. 72.058 71 and 9 And now we have caught it. 3 kilohertz. As to inductance, the result is the same. So nothing changes regarding the frequency. And now about the conclusions. 
As already mentioned, the device has not a very wide range in resistance, though its accuracy can be about 100 milliohms. And also, the device cannot measure the capacitance more than 1000 microfarads. But anyway, in case of measurement of more or less precise resistance, up to 20 ohms, this device may be very useful. Not to mention the possibility of inductance measurement, which usually is not present in the most part of multimeters. So, in view of its specific range, small size and low price, the device can be useful for certain tasks and I must note that it copes with them. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.